February 13, Praying for Strangers. Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, New King James Version. Every day I pray for strangers. It sets the stage for new friendships. Let me explain about my prayer. I decided long ago to ask God to be the one to lead me to France. This is my prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the stranger that I'm yet to meet, one who will become my friend. As a result, my friendship coffer overflows. Life is short. We can't choose our birth family, but we can choose our friends. A young friend said that to me the day after I prayed with her mother in the hospital following her father's unexpected death. She and her husband were two strangers from whom I had prayed before we even met, the same as with her parents. It's always wonderful to meet the people God brings into my life, like precious gifts. My husband and I returned to Florida in 2014 after being away for four and a half years. Though we've acquired many fine friends and enjoyed nice experiences while leaving other places, I long for Florida. I'm one of those people affected by seasonal affective disorder, also referred to as SAD. There aren't many gray days in Florida. Even the almost daily summer rain showers are followed by brilliant sunshine. One of the delights upon our return was the frequent flow of visit from our Florida friends, welcoming us back to the Sunshine State as well as our many snowbird friends. Does pray without ceasing mean do nothing except pray 24 hours a day? We'd probably be hold off for a psychiatrist evaluation if we did. What it does mean is that we maintain an attitude of prayer, knowing that God's listening ear is with us. Many days are better because of friends. They add to my wholeness as a person and are a blessing. My husband and I prayed for those friends and continue to pray for them. They are an extension of our family. Elizabeth Kobler-Ross, a world-renowned psychiatrist, had it right when she compared people to stained glass windows. They sparkle and shine when the sun is out, but when the darkness sets in, their true beauty is revealed only if there is a light from within. Thus, let us pray for strangers, for, in so doing, they become the ones who we call individually my friend. Betty Costick so, what are your thoughts about these devotions? Comment down below and share your thoughts.